Hi, this video is about uh, graph traversal methods. Breadth first search or breadth first traversal or depth first search, these are two graph traversal methods. Traversing means visiting all the vertices of a graph, visiting all the vertices once. For discussing about traversal methods, I have to tell you about two terms. Visiting a vertex means going through some vertex. Next term is exploration. Exploration means visiting all the adjacent vertices of a given vertex. Suppose for 4, the adjacent vertices are 1, 3 and 5 and for 5 adjacent vertices are 6, 7 and 4. So exploration means visiting all the adjacent vertices of a given vertex. So these are the two terms using which we can study breadth first search and depth first search. So first let us talk about breadth first search. The order in which the vertices are visited I am going to write them here and I need one data structure so I take that data structure here now let us start for traversing I can pick up any of the vertex as a starting vertex so here I prefer taking vertex 1 as a static vertex I will select 1 so 1 is visited that visited vertex I will keep it here in this data structure now I have to start exploring the vertex 1 so I'll pick up this one I'll take out from here and start exploring so the two adjacent vertices are there 2 and 4 so I can visit on 2 first then on 4 or either I can go to 4 then I can go to 2 so I'll select 2 here so 2 is visited then 4 is visited now 1 is completely explored this one is completely explored I should start exploration of next vertex so I'll pick up the next vertex from here 2 so for 2 adjacent vertices are 1 and 3 so 1 is already visited the new vertex is 3 so 3 is visited 2 is completely explored now I should start exploration of next vertex so from where I should pick the next vertex so that is from data structure so the next vertex is 4 so for 4 adjacent vertices are 5 and 3 3 is already visited so 5 is taken here this is a newly visited vertex now 4 is completely explored so next vertex for exploration is 3 so for 3 adjacent vertices are 8 and 9 I can pick up any one of these so I'll take 8 first then 9 now 3 is completely explored I will pick up next vertex so if you observe this data structure the vertices are added here whenever a new vertex is visited it is added here and we are picking up the vertices on FIFO fashion so this data structure is a Q data structure so the next vertex for exploration is 5 5 the adjacent vertices are 6 and 7 so I have visited 6 and then 7 now next vertex for exploration is 8 for 8 there is no adjacent vertex 3 was there which is already visited 6 5 was there which was visited 7 and 5 was there which was visited visited so this is what the breadth first search traversal we got by picking the first vertex as 1 we have got the traversal and this is how breadth first search traversal work so here the procedure is we can start from any vertex and we should take that vertex in a Q data structure and start exploring that vertex so every new vertex is added to Q and next vertex for exploration must be selected from Q select vertex for exploration from Q that's it so let us try it again breadth first search 
first vertex I have visited was 1 then 2 and 4 then I have selected 2 for exploration so I got the vertex 3 then from 4 I got the vertex 5 then 3 exploration of 3 I got 8 and 9 and the exploration of 5 gave me 6 and 7 so I got a tree like structure this is called as breadth first search spanning tree So without taking the cycles or without taking closing edges, we have formed a tracing of the breadth first search method and that gives us a spanning tree. Let us do some exercise here. Breadth first search. Let us write one of the breadth first search. I'll start from vertex 1, then I'll go to vertex 4 instead of 2 then I will select 2 then I should start exploration of 4 so for 4 adjacent vertices are 5 and 3 now I should start exploration of vertex 2 so for 2 3 is already visited then I should start exploration of 5 so 6 and 7 then I should start exploration of 3 so for 3 8 and 9 in this way I got another result for breadth first search where I have picked starting vertex as 1 and I have selected 4 then 2 I have visited 4 then 2 instead of 2 then 4 so I can visit them in any order so this is also a valid breadth first search 1 4 2 3 5 then 9 8 6 7 yes this is also a valid prefer search third I'll start from vertex 4 1 3 5 I should explore vertex 1 so 2 I should start exploring 3 so that is 9 and 8 I should start exploring 5 that is 6 and 7 so yes this is also valid breadth first search I'll start from vertex 3 so for 3 adjacent vertices are 2 4 8 9 start exploring 2 so I got the vertex as 1 start exploring 4 so for adjacent vertex for 4 is 5 and start exploring 8 nothing is there 9 nothing is adjacent 1 nothing is adjacent 4 5 6 and 7 so this is also a valid breadth for search method 1 then 2 4 then 3 5 6 yeah here it's wrong I have selected 1 then adjacent vertices are 2 and 4 so 2 is explored so I got 3 4 is explored so I got 5 then I should explore 3 then I should explore 5 but 6 is a adjacent vertex for 5 so this is not possible here it goes wrong I'll pick up one I will write one more breadth for search 1 4 2 8 9 6 7 this is also wrong how let us see 1 for 1 4 and 2 I should start exploring 4 so for 4 adjacent vertices are 3 yes it's ok 5 is also an adjacent vertex that is missing here that is missing here I did not take that so this is not a valid breadth for search method if I start from 3 then I should take all the vertices adjacent to 3 that are 2 4 8 if I don't take 9 and I go to 5 and 6 and 7 then 9 so again this goes wrong 9 should have been visited before visiting 5 6 7 
so that's how you can check whether a breath given a breath first search is true or false so we must pick up the next vertex from Q so always remember that Q is a data structure used in breadth first search every newly visited vertex is kept in the Q and the next vertex for ex exploration is selected from Q now let us go to next search the first sorry next traversal method that is depth first search and this method also I'll take the list of vertices that are visited and one data structure yeah here I start I'll start from vertex 1 vertex 1 is visited then it is kept in the stack now take out this one and start exploring one so once I visit the new vertex that is 2 1 is kept in the stack again and I should start exploring 2 I should start exploring 2 so from 2 the adjacent vertex is 3 so I should go to 3 so I should put 2 into the stack and start exploring 3 and from 3 I should select the next vertex adjacent vertex exploration of 3 gives me 4 so I will pick a 4 so now from 4 I should start exploring 4 I should start stop exploring 3 so I should keep it in the stack so the exploration of 3 is suspended and it is kept in the stack we should start exploring 4 for 4 adjacent vertex is 5 new vertex we got so 4 is kept in the stack now from 5 I can go to 6 so go to 6 5 is kept in the stack now start exploring 4 sorry start exploring 6 so there is no adjacent vertex of 6 so here is a dead end I cannot go further so go back so how to go back pick up a vertex from the stacks that is 5 and continue the exploration of vertex 5 so the next vertex adjacent to 5 is 7 again put that vertex 5 into the stack and start exploring 7 again 7 is a dead end I cannot go further from 7 so go back 5 take out 5 from 5 I have visited 6 also and 7 also there is no there are no more adjacent vertices for 5 so 5 is completely explored go back to the previous vertex 4 and continue its exploration from 4 I could go to 4 1 and 5 and 3 so 1 5 and 3 are already visited so 4 is completely explored go back to the previous vertex 3 so for 3 adjacent vertex is 8 so 8 now suspend exploration of 3 again push it into the stack and start exploring 8 8 is a dead end there is no adjacent vertex so go back to 3 and visit next vertex that is 9 again push 3 into the stack and start exploring 9 so 9 is a dead end I cannot go further so pop out 3 again and check if there are any adjacent vertex so from 3 there is no adjacent vertex then pop out next vertex will get 2 there is no adjacent vertex from 1 also no adjacent vertex that's it so we got this as depth first search traversal of a graph so the idea here is once we visit a vertex 1 we should start exploring it means we should visit a 2 also and 4 also but once we visit vertex 2 we should hold the exploration of vertex 1 and start exploring 2 when the 2 is completely explored then only we will go back to 1 and continue its exploration so let us see this graphically Def first search first vertex is 1 then visit 2 I should visit 4 but a 2 is the new vertex so I should start exploring this one so I got 3 now 3 is a new vertex I should start exploring it so I got 4 so I went to 4 via 3 then from 4 I can go to next vertex that is 5 from 5 I can go to 6 from 6 I cannot go further so go back to 5 and from 5 I can go to 7 and from 7 I cannot go anywhere so go back to 5 
there is no more vertex so go back to 4 from 4 I can go to 3 so that's all 3 is already visited so go back to 3 so from 3 I can go to 8 and also I can go to 9 so 3 is completely explored 2 there is no adjacent vertex 1 there is no adjacent vertex so this is defer search spanning tree of a graph so let us try and find different depth first search possible first one start from vertex 1 go to 2 then on 3 then on 4 5 6 7 then no more vertices so come back from 3 we have to continue exploration 8 and 9 this is one possible depth first search second one from 1 I'll go to 2 then I'll go to 3 then from 3 I will go to 8 from 8 I cannot go further so I'll come back to 3 and continue so I can go to 9 from 9 also I cannot go further so I'll come back and continue I can go on 4 so from 4 I can go to 5 from 5 I'll go to 6 from 6 I say cannot go anywhere come back to 5 so from 5 I can go to 7 also from 7 I cannot go anywhere else so come back to 5 come back to 5 from 5 come back to 4 then back to 3 back to 2 back to 1 there are no more vertices so this is also a valid result of depth first search let us try one more 1 2 3 then 8 after 8 I'll pick up 4 then from there 5 from there 7 from 7 I cannot go further but coming back to 5 I can go to 6 from 6 I cannot go anywhere so I can come back here on 5 no more vertices come back to 4 no more vertices come back to 3 yes one more vertex is remaining that is 9 yes this is also valid fourth 1 4 5 6 then back to 5 then 7 and back to 4 3 then 9 back to 3 then 8 then back to 3 then 2 yes this is also valid one more from 1 go to 2 then 3 then 5 no this is not valid from 3 I can go to either 8 9 or 4 but I cannot go to 5 this is invalid 1 2 3 4 then 9 no once I am on 4 I should go to 5 I should go to 5 and start exploring because from 4 I can go to 5 so I should start exploring 4 so I'll go to 5 then I should start exploring 5 I cannot go to 9 I cannot I must not go to 9 so this is also invalid let us try from some another starting vertex 3 2 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 from 3 go to 2 then 1 then 4 from 4 go to 5 then 6 then 7 right come back to 5 then back to 4 back to 1 back to 2 back to 3 I can take 8 and 9 yes this is valid so hope you have understood how to find depth first search and depth first search of a graph these are some of the example traversals which are correct and these are invalid traversals thank you for watching